Welcome to our course, Doing Math in Python, and in this part of our course, we are going to learn how to factor and how to expand our expressions. So in Python, basically we have um, two functions to use for us to be able to factor and expand a certain algebraic expressions. So what are these different functions? Factor function is used to decompose an expression into its factors. Maybe you would want to ask me at this time what factors is. For example, we have number 3. Let me add something here. Or shall we say 6? The factors of 6 are 3 and then 2. So because when we multiply 3 and 2, that becomes 6. So this is a factor. In algebra, because we have a lot of variables to consider, um, if, for example, we have um, binomial and polynomial expressions, then now that would be a kind of more complicated than having this um, just an in integer. Expand, what is an expand function? It expands, just by the word itself, an expression, expressing it as a sum of individual terms. If, for example, let's have this one for us to properly understand what factor and expand is when applied to an algebraic expression. So we have x squared minus y squared. When we factor this one, it becomes x plus y times the quantity of x minus y. So this is here the factor of x squared minus y squared. And this one is the expand form of x plus y times the quantity of x minus y. So in algebra, we can also do this one um, using Python. And for us to be able to do that, we need to import symbol from SymPy. And with that, we can now make object symbols for this expression. And here, we have two objects here. We have x and y. So with that, we are going to have x equal to symbol. Then we have x, y equal symbol. Then we have here y. So factor function is used to convert the expanded version to the factored version that's already discussed just a while ago. So for us to do that, we're going to import factor from SymPy. So for example, we have the expression, which is from this expression, x squared minus y squared. So we have this one, um, expression equals to x squared. The two asterisks here means um, the exponent minus y squared. Then um, we have this factor. And then what we do is we call this one as our argument. So let's execute this. Okay. So name x is not yet defined. Okay. Um, we have not yet executed this one. Okay. Then let's execute this. All right. So as you could see, we have x minus y times the quantity of x plus y. Or the quantity of x minus y times the quantity of x plus y. So this is the factor of this expression. Now, um, we want to go back to the original expression. So with that, we are going to use the expand function. Expand function is used to expand the factors to get back the original expanded version. So just like this one for the factor. In this case, we import expand from SymPy. And then factors is equal to factor expression. Just like this one, we're just calling this one again. And we expand the factors. So let's execute this. So now we have this original form. So let's make uh, some reviews for us to be able to properly understand what we are doing in each step. And then we are going to have a more complicated expression. So basically, we call first the object symbol. And I mean, we, we transform or we make an object symbol. And then from that, we make an expression. And then, of course, we import the factor from SymPy. And then we call this expression as an argument using this one, factor function. And that we have the factors of this expression. And then what we do here is we expand our version. And with that, we have come up with the original version of this expression, which is a factor with the quantity of x minus y plus the, or times the quantity of x plus y. So basically, that's how we do it. Now, we have this 
um, more complicated expression. So we're going to factor first. So what is this one? So we have 3 or x to the power raised to 3 plus 3x raised to 2, y plus 3xy to 2 plus y3. Or y to the 3. We get the factor of that and we make factors also as the name of our expression in this case. So let's execute this. So here we have this one as our factor. And now we would, we would want to expand. So what would be the expanded version of this one? So which means the original. Let's execute this one. So there you go. This is the original version of this factor. Do you want to know more about this channel? Just click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.